Hi, what you are about to see is the difference between Go Open Access and Grain Open Access. Not everyone understands about this. What is actually the meaning of Grain Open Access and Go Open Access? Let's find out. Alright, so let me tell you about Go Open Access and Grain Open Access. Just an overview to understand about the difference between both. So the Go Open Access means that you publish an article in an open access journal or in a journal which support an open access or hybrid journal because in hybrid journal there are two options subscriptions and open access and open access means go open access here which is available immediately on publication so once your article published online is freely available and no need to pay they just easily download it so they can just see it read it freely so there is no delay directly immediately after the article is published online that's the meaning of the goal of an access right and the version of record is up to date of course and linked to any post publication corrections ensuring clear and accurate scientific records so if there is amendment there is a author corrections or publisher corrections they're gonna record in the journal or in the publisher and most likely the goal open access are not free so those who would like to publish in the goal open access journals they need to pay article processing charge or publishing fee by the authors or the funders or institutions but the benefit is of course this fight of a freely available and everyone can download it easily the authors also can choose a commercial and non-commercial license so they can just do it commercially if they choose to go open access journal but sometimes it's also a burden for the students if the article processing charge is quite high so this is the goal open access right what about the green open access the green open access means it's actually this about sharing your subscription article let's say when you choose to publish an article and you choose a subscription model instead of the open access one so when you choose subscription model it means after the article published online so you cannot do self archive in your website and in your institutional repository website in a research gate for example in academia edu or in SSR and social science research network by Elsevier let's say in a one journal they require at least like one year of the embargo period so during one year no self archive all right but after one year the embargo period finished then you can do the self archive you can publish the article in the academia edu in your account and you can publish in your research gate account linkedin account but in the journal the original publisher the article is still in the subscription model okay the only benefit from the green open access that you can you can self archive in the repository after the embargo period let's say if the repository is indexed in scopus then it's lucky for you you don't need to pay to get published an article in a in a scopus index or web science index because it's already indexed in that RC for repository right but the green open access mostly has uh, incomplete and multiple versions not citable or fully connected to other papers and probably you miss some scientific record let's say in the publisher that the article is already uh, updated with some corrections but in the in your self archive and the repository is not updated at all so it's gonna be a risk polluting the scientific records but the benefit is no fees payable by the authors publishing costs are covered by library subscriptions and the question is if you already publish in a go open access journal can you choose to be a green open access and my question is why why we need to transform from go open access to green open access because in the go open access that everyone can download your article freely without any obstacles they can just download it easily right so you don't need to do the self archive in the SSRN for example or 
preprint our save for what but if you want to do a self our save doesn't matter you know just to ensure about the goal open access is just only freely available for everyone for public consumptions right so the next information you can see from the Springer nature that I put link uh, under the table Springer and Elsevier.com that you can check it out so you can see more information in there so maybe just that's all guys for watching and thank you for attention